So you deposit $150 each month into an account earning 3% interest compounded monthly. How much will you have in your account in 15 years? How much total money will you put into the account? And finally, how much total interest will you earn? The first step in solving financial problems is to try and figure out which type of finance we're looking at. Are we looking at simple interest, compound interest, an annuity? In this specific case, we're actually looking at an annuity. And the way we know is because we're looking at making deposits on a monthly basis. And when you talk about making multiple deposits into an account, you're generally speaking about an annuity. So if that's the case, then let's write down the annuity formula. So let's recall the annuity formula says as follows. So our annuity formula tells us that the amount in our account after n years is equal to D, which is the amount we deposit on a monthly basis, times the quantity of 1 plus r over k raised to the nk minus 1, all divided by r over k. Phew, that's a big, huge formula. Now, what do all these letters mean again? Well, p sub n is the balance in the account after n years. d is the amount deposited each time period. r is the annual interest rate. K is the number of compounds per year. Okay, so how do we go about using this formula to solve our problem? Let's start with part A. So in part A, we're asked, how much will you have in your account in 15 years? So let's identify two pieces of information. P sub N is actually what we're looking for. And specifically, we're looking for the amount after 15 years. So we're looking for the balance in our account 15 years after we start our investments. We don't know what that is. In fact, that's what we're looking for. However, we do know what D is. D is the monthly payment that we deposit, and that's 150. We also know what R is. R is our interest rate which is 3%, and we want to convert that into a decimal, that's equal to 0 0.03. And finally, K, which is the number of compounds per year. Since we're compounding monthly, that means that the number of compounds are going to be 12, corresponding to 12 months in the year. Once we have all our variables identified, we put everything into our formula. So that means P sub 15 equals 150 times the quantity of 1 plus 0 0.03 over 12, all raised to the N times K. What was N again? I forgot to label that. The N is 15, right? So the number of years is 15. And so when I have nk, that means I'm going to take 15 and I'm going to multiply that times 12. And that's going to be my exponent up here. Then I'm going to subtract 1 and divide that whole quantity by 0 0.03 over 12. That's not too bad. Now comes the tricky part, evaluating. How do you evaluate? this expression on your calculator. Well, I'm going to give you a suggestion, and it's up to you whether you want to try it or not, but online there is actually a free calculator. So if you can calculate this on your own, that's great. Please do that with you, whatever calculator you have as your tool. But if you're not and you're having trouble getting the answers once you put it in the formula, I encourage you to go to the following website, which is www.desmos.com. And on it is a free graphing calculator that you can use. It not only does graphing, but it also does calculating of, of, of um, expressions. Following that suggestion, I went online onto Desmos and I typed in the following calculation. I typed 150 
times the quantity of the quantity of 1 plus 0 0.03 over 12 raised to the 12 times 15 minus 1 parentheses closed all over 0 0.03 divided by 12. And Desmos spit out this number right here. That's $34,045 and, and then a farther decimal. So what is this again? This represents this expression is the amount in my account or the balance in my account in 15 years investing 150 at 3% compounded monthly. And so if I write that down as actually an amount of money, that would be $34,045. And I have to round to the nearest cent, so that's going to be 0 0.90 cents. That's the answer to part A. I do have two notes about when you input expressions into Desmos. The first thing is, whenever you type numbers in, you don't want to put any commas. Okay, Desmos doesn't like commas in their numbers. Secondly, in order to type an exponent, you want to use the caret key on your keypad, which is like Shift 6. And that will take you up and make the exponent which is the part that's right up here, the 12 times 15. Notice all of the parentheses that I have in this expression. When you type this in Desmos for the first time, you want to mimic my parentheses exactly. Those parentheses keep things nice and neat and help us with our order of operations and making sure all the operations get done in the correct order. All right, shall we go back and work the second part to this problem? The second part to this problem asks, how much total money will you put into the account? Hmm, how much total money will you put into the account? Well, to answer that question, I'm going to need to make some space. So let me erase part A. And let me start fresh and say, OK, so for part B, I'm being asked how much money I'm going to put into my account. Since I'm making investments of $150, I know that each month I'm going to be investing $150, right? I also know that per year I'm going to invest $150 times 12 because I'm going to make 12 payments of $150. Well, I'm going to be doing that over 15 years. And so that means that I'm going to take and multiply this by 15. Let me go through that one more time. Each month I invest $150. So if I take that and multiply that times 12, that tells me how much per year I'm investing, right? So that's going to tell me the amount per year that I'm investing. If I then take that times 15 years, that tells me the total money that I've put into this account. So if I either get my calculator out or just use Desmos, I get the following. 150 times 12 times 15 is actually 27,000. This is the amount that I am investing by investing $150 12 times a year times 15 years. So that's the total amount of my investment. And that answers part B, $27,000 even. Let's go on now and answer part C. Part C asks, how much total interest will you earn? So to get the total interest, what do I have to do? I have to take the money that's in my account after 15 years and subtract from it 
the amount of money that I actually invested, right? So I have to take the money that I invested and subtract that from the amount in the account and that's gonna tell me how much I made as interest. So let's do that on our calculation page. We take $34,045.90 which from part A we discovered was the amount in our account after 15 years. We subtract from it $27,000, which if you recall from part B was the amount that we invested by making our monthly payments. And when we subtract, we get the difference of $7,045.90. That is the answer for part C. That's the amount of interest that we have earned over the 15 years. I hope this helps you to understand annuities a little better.